Hey there, Pony fan. Welcome to another Friendship is Magic review with me, the Stupid Private. Today's episode is Maud Pie. The episode begins with Pinky preparing for a visit from her sister, Maud. Sorry, Inky and Blinky fans. By making what else? Rock candy. That will go into making rock candy necklaces. And Pinky is positive that her sister and her friends will get along like peanut butter and jelly. But it turns out they go together more like peanut butter and rocks. Because there's nothing Maud likes more than rocks. She talks about rocks, she thinks about rocks, and she's going on a long journey to study rocks. It's a good thing all that time on the old rock farm didn't mess her up. But Pinky's gonna try and get them to find some common ground. Rarity and Maud talk fashion. Maud's big into the disgusting dirty rag scene. Twilight gets treated to Maud's poetry. All her poems are about rocks. Maud and Dash go rock throwing. Fluttershy takes Maud on a nature hike where Maud finds so many interesting rocks. And AJ treats Maud to some of her homemade apple cider. Maud thinks it tastes like apples. For some reason, the girls don't seem to be hitting it off with Maud. But Pinky has one last idea. Nothing brings ponies together quite like a Professor Ganky style deadly obstacle course. But when something goes terribly and predictably wrong, and Pinky almost gets crushed by a giant boulder, Maud proves that she's not just an earth pony, she's an earth bender. By smashing the boulder with deadly precision. So the gang figures that since they all care about Pinky, that's something great to have in common. So rock candy friendship necklaces for everybody. This episode... Private, if you say this episode rocks, you're doing push-ups. Aw. Let's get started with our guest star, Maud Pie. She steals the show with her delightfully deadpan style. And then there's the whole rock thing. Although it's her most visible character trait, it's definitely not her only one. She's also bland and unemotional. But underneath that cold, bland exterior, she really cares about her sister. Her interactions with the main six are pretty awesome. Pinky especially loves Maud to pieces, and it's awesome to see how excited she gets over Maud's rock-y-ness. That's probably why Maud likes her so much. She's the only one who does. Most of the others really struggle with how painfully awkward it is dealing with her. The best reaction is Dash, who does a full-on Looney Tunes jaw drop at Maud's apathy toward victory. And I must say, that Maud can really pull off a World War I era German helmet. Now let's look at the humor, which is off the hook in this episode. Maud's deadpan humor is the main set piece, but they use it sparingly enough that it never becomes too much. She also has the main six to play off of, such as her idea of fun with her pet rock boulder. Rarity should introduce him to Tom. I bet that game kept Pinky busy for hours. Speaking of, Pinky's sugar-fueled anarchic nonsense is really a lot of fun in this episode. No matter the situation, she's always ready to go completely over the top when it comes to her sister. Rarity has quite a few funny moments, a number of them involving her ridiculous hat. And everybody else gets in at least one funny one-liner, and there are rock puns galore. Now let's look at the action. There are only two small action set pieces, both of which will probably help establish Maud as one of Equestria's all-time bad. Is. The first one is totally owning Dash in a rock throwing contest. Then there's Maud's rescue of Pinky from a boulder by punching it into many smaller boulders. Although brief, these scenes are really cool. The art design in Mod Pie is quality stuff. Maud herself is very well put together. The gray and dark purple color palette combined with the straight lines says she's boring without actually making her boring to look at. I think it's her eye design that makes the whole thing work. There's also a really nice sequence at the beginning showing Pinkie Pie's memories as a series of crayon drawings. Also, Rarity's dumb <laughs> rock hat. On the downside, Maud may work as a joke, but I don't know how I feel about her as a character. In a lot of ways, she's unpleasant. And it's all her fault. Being unemotional is one thing, but being so wrapped up in your own hobbies that you don't even try to take an interest in other people, that's just rude. In fact, I can think of at least one pony who had to learn just that lesson. Now let's break down the good and the bad in My Little Pony, Mod Pie. On the good side, the humor in this episode is great and so varied. There are overreactions, underreactions, puns, situation comedy, non sequiturs, and did I mention puns? Yes, you did. There are a couple of neat action set pieces and of course, my favorite sound effect. On the other hand, Maud needs work as a character, and since she's so prominent in this episode, that becomes sort of noticeable. But she's persistently funny enough that it's not really a big deal. So I give My Little Pony, Maud Pie, a 4 out of 5. Thanks for watching, I'm the Stupid Private. Hey kids, today's show is brought to you by the letter 4 and the number potato! I'm a stupid private.